The Crusades were initially uh, military undertakings to conquer the sacred sites of Christianity in the Holy Land. Uh, the first one was called in 1095. Uh, the Pope at the time, Urban II, envisioned a large, well-supplied and well-organized Christian army operating under the direction of, a represent, of his own representative. Uh, it didn't happen that way. What happened rather was a, a series of very effective militias that uh, made their way eastward, uh, did reach the uh, Mediterranean shores of Israel, uh, made their way inland, and in the summer of 1099, and it was felt to be at the time rather miraculous, broke through the walls of Jerusalem and conquered the city. About 200 years later, uh, in 1290, all the Christian footholds in the Holy Land have been lost. But in the process, crusading has been turned into a tool for other kinds of aggression as well, sometimes against other peoples, sometimes against internal dissidents within Christian society, sometimes a tool of the papacy against rulers that it deemed for one reason or another illegitimate. And in that sense, crusading has become part of the contemporary lexicon also as a military battle with a kind of um, some kind of religious and very high-blown objective.